All right, we're doing it. Um, so this will be the first video from my uh, Porter's archive here at Records. I've picked out 10 so far. I'm gonna try to go through them kind of quick. I wanna keep these videos a little, around 10 minutes or so. So, here we go. Uh, first, what's playing is uh, Tyranny, Aeons, and Tectonic Internment. It's on Dark Descent Records. Uh, came out 2015. Uh, 2 LP, 45 RPMs. It's a solid funeral doom. It's great. Um, I think you could still get it. I think I just got that from Dark Descent uh, during their sale this winter. Um, anyway, we've got the download code here for it too. Just found that on the floor. You can see that. Cheers. Say thanks in the comments. Don't be a dick about it. Just say thanks. That's all I ask. Um, so here we go. First record. It's just a band. It's called Blank, or We Don't Have a Name, or These Blocks. It's their four track demo. Came out 2016. Self released. Uh, there's only 250 copies on uh, White Wax, Black Splatter. Um, it's great. It's, uh, guys are from Czech Republic. Atmospheric black metal with. Pretty noticeable uh, post-hardcore, hardcore screamo type influences in the guitar work. Even in the vocalist, you can hear it. Um, I think the members play in other bands similar to what I was describing, so that's probably where it comes from. Uh, next, we got 16 with uh, Deep Cuts from Dark Clouds. It's uh, Relapse Records. 2012. Um, this was. It's on. Yeah. Red. Uh, they're uh, probably one of the veteran sludge bands out there. Um, been around since 90, 91. Uh, comes with a printed insert. Uh, so it's a sludge metal that has the very obvious down-tempo hardcore sound in it. Um, this this album in particular that I have is uh, is a little bit more on the sludgy doom side, but you can still hear it in there. Uh, the other album I have is much much more on the hardcore side of sludge, which is this one, Bridges to Burn. Also on Relapse Records, a single LP. Uh, we've got a printed insert here. Uh, looks like these guys are floating in a sea of uh, scripts, prescription pills, and shit. Uh, lyrics on that side. It's on purple. And this was their. Uh, when did this come out? 2008. 2009? 2009. And uh, this purple was out of 250. But yeah, I feel like for as long as these guys have been around, um, they've, they come through and they tour with other huge bands, but I feel like they're just kind of the underdogs in the scene, which is alright. They're doing their thing. Um, next, another sludge band, one of the sludge bands. Acid Bath, Pagan Terrorism Tactics. Most anyone that, even if you're not into sludge, you've probably heard this. Uh, Dax Riggs. Fucking awesome vocalist. Cool frontman. Um, Rotten Records. Is this book this came out on? we got one sided lyric sheet here. And, uh,. This was one of the first presses, first press on vinyl, in 2010. LP1 is yellow. I think LP2 is green, red, I don't know. 
but yeah, if any of you ever get a chance to see Dax Bird's solo project, uh, I believe it's still, he's still doing it. It's fucking awesome. I've seen Dax Riggs like, I don't know, three times, four times. Um, here's the second LP. Yeah, it's a like clear green. Uh, I think these are still pretty easily obtainable on Discogs, something like that, but yeah, when I started collecting records again and I saw these were getting pressed, I grabbed them with a quickness. So it's the second one when the kite string pops with our old old chap John Wayne Gacy here on the cover. That old snake in the grass, um, son of a bitch. Uh, I got lyrics and then a picture, a little happy doodle from him, little Johnny boy. I think this one, yeah, it's 2LP, both of them are on white, so there you go, there you go, but yeah, if, uh, if any of you out there listen to I Hate God or Soylent Green or Goat Whore, any of that NOLA metal, and you don't listen to Ask the Bath, not doing something right with your life. All right, next is, uh, you got Acid King, uh, Boosie, Boos Woods, uh, 2011 reissue on Creation Records. There's a backside here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is on color, too. We got this, like, highlighter green with orange and red and, like, a dark green in there. But as the King's, uh, I'd say probably definitely one of the Stoner Doom Hall of Famers. Uh, Lori, the lead singer on vocals, she absolutely kills it. Um, absolutely kills it. Yeah, it was originally released in 99. That's what that was. But mine's a reissue. And uh, here's the second one here. Acid King 3. Also Creation Records. This one was uh, 2006, first press, that's what I got. And no insert or anything again, just black, so whatever. And uh, yeah, I think they've been around even since the mid-90s. Uh, the lead singer was at one point married to Dale Kroger of the Melvins. Uh, the more you know, right? Anyway, moving right along, we got Across Tundras, Dark Songs of the Prairie. Uh, this is a band I've listened to a lot of their stuff online. Uh, not a lot of it's on vinyl. There's a couple other releases on vinyl that I intend to pick up. This is uh, Silver, Black Splatter. Uh, limited to 300. It's a Colorado, I don't know if it's a group, I know it's like one main guy, I don't know if he has other permanent band members or not, but it's, um, I don't know, Cross Tundra is just weird to describe. They have a very obvious Neurosis, Isis uh, sound to them, but it's coming through on like a desert rock, desert stoner psych, whatever you want to call it, sound, and yeah, it reminds me of like the later Earth albums, where they do those like soundscape rock albums or whatever, it's like that, it's cool, definitely check out Across Tundras if you like Neurosis or Isis or any of that. Uh, the last two are from this guy's, Sir Admiral Cloudsley Chevelle, uh, they're a UK band, this is uh... Check them before you wreck them. It's on Rise Above. It's a, it's a gatefold LP. You can see these. These these stud muffins right there. And but it's one LP in the gatefold. Rise Above likes to do that. Uh, it's on this nice purple. 
and the purple was out of a thousand, I think. It's nothing crazy. But they're, uh, yeah, UK solid stoner, like hard rock, uh, psych. Uh, there's Sabbath influences in there. Uh, on this album in particular, like huge pentagram warship type stuff going on and Motorhead. Like Motorhead comes through both on the vocals, same with pentagram. He hits like Lemmy and Bobby in the same song. Sometimes it's fucking awesome. And uh, this is their other one. Don't hear it, fear it. Uh, again, rise above. And again, it's on a gatefold with one LP. And this one came on green. Yeah, comes on green. This one was out of 300. This one's definitely fuzzier than the last one, or, yeah, the last one I showed, first record, much more fuzz rock, has garage rock, like, motorhead sound to it, definitely, for sure, um, I'd say I like the second one a little bit better, but both of them are awesome, fucking hard rock, like, beer drinking, you know, good old times, but, yeah, that's all I have for this video, um, a little over 10 minutes but that's all right i'll get it down in time uh but yeah if you like what you saw give me a subscribe or a like or even if you just want to talk shit to me in the comment section that's cool too whatever's good for you guys later